been on his way for 10 minutes already, and now the 9 years old Aryan is freezing. And you really made me feel it. Let's talk about it. Hey, everybody. I'm Sammy, a former professional movie watcher and content consultant here in Los Angeles, bringing you lessons from YouTube creators to help you make better content. Okay. So uh, today we have a video from a channel called uh, Kieran B. Kieran B. Forgive me. I'm an American. <laughs> if I mispronounced 1.14 million subscribers. This video is called One Day in the Coldest Village on Earth, negative 71 Celsius, negative 95 Fahrenheit, Yucatan, Siberia. Uh, this video has 45 million views at the time of this recording. Wow. About a year ago. Uh, that is a lot of views. That buys a, a lot of heaters, I'd imagine. Um, so today's lesson is beating the algorithm, right? Beating the, how do you beat the algorithm? We're going to talk about that today. Cause that, that seems to be a topic on everybody's mind. Everybody always, every YouTube creator, every, how to make better YouTube videos, channels, every ad that I see for people selling courses for better, everybody algorithm. That's all. All everybody talks about is the effing algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> the the YouTube algorithm, how to beat the algorithm, algorithm this, algorithm that. If you, I, I wish people would put more time and energy into their content as they do into thinking about the algorithm. And I think Kieran B does this. Now, this video has 45 million views. It's been on YouTube for a while. I think at last, last time I checked here, um, she has over 245 billion views or million billion. That's like Justin Bieber numbers, <laughs> 245 million views uh, on her channel from all of her content. She put out a video like seven days ago. I think it's already at 7 million um, uh, views already. Uh, every video gets big, big numbers. And, and why is this? How is she beating the algorithm? There's no, there's no fancy techniques. There's no uh, wacky editing. How is she being the algorithm? In, in my estimation, it's because she's bringing people around the world into her world. So she grew up in this in uh, Yucatan, Siberia, and she's a filmmaker or a content creator. And uh, from the YouTube bio, she's based in the UK now. I imagine she visits home quite quite regularly to film these um, videos, but she's she's giving a slice of life into um, an environment, you know, that people are interested in <laughs> because they don't see this. Uh, how how do people live in the coldest place on Earth? Um, what is their lives like? What how do they? How do they go to the bathroom? How do they heat their houses? How do they drink water? Uh, all of that is covered in a video like this. How does this kid go to school when it's, how does he walk to school? I want to know how these dogs survive. Like, <laughs> I'm hoping she does a video on how these dogs live in the negative 40. Cause this kid's about to like pass out from how cold it is walking to school, but the dogs are just like chilling. <laughs> I, that's, that's, I hope if she's watching, make a video on that, please. <laughs> That'll probably get you a hundred million views because people love dogs. Um, but essentially that that's it right now. You know, if, if you're covering, if you do content on the topic of fashion or dating or fitness, I mean, like a lot of, a lot of you are kind of covering the same territory. Uh, 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 you're treading the same treading the same ground as a lot of other people. Right. And so then you want to sit back and complain about the algorithm, but it's really just 500 other people have done the same video uh, as you and gave the same advice. So like how, how big of an audience is there for that? Right. It's not really that big. Um, she's bringing people into the world of this town. Now I saw that there was like another couple travel vlog people that went to this town and they did a video and it had like 7 million views. Okay. Well, but it's not generally, it's not going to be creating content about this village. There's not going to be a lot of other content creators doing it. So she's broken the algorithm code <laughs> by just making good content and bringing people in. That's what storytelling is. Everybody it's bringing people into a, a world 
from your perspective. That that is the key point of storytelling, right? Um, now that doesn't have to be an exotic location, like the coldest place on earth. If you work in a kitchen, that is, find a way to make that kitchen unique, or that re that restaurant that you work in is unique, right? Because there's no other kitchen like it in the world. Now you, your job is to help uh, craft a, a a way to to highlight work, what it's like to work in that kitchen and tell the world about it. You can make anything pretty much interesting. Um, I mean, some like some locations and places have a little bit of extra built in because it is the coldest place on earth and people still live there. But, you know, um, try it out <laughs> and maybe you can break the algorithm too. And, and get lots of views. Um, I guess that's that's the lesson today. That's all I wanted to talk about. If you need help creating your content, making engaging content, if you're sick of uh, um, uh, focusing on the algorithm all the time and, and, and obsessing about it and just want to get down to brass tacks and start making better content that's going to connect with people, reach out to me. I'm here for you. I have very uh, a variety of clients doing a variety of content and they're all getting great results. So reach out. That's why I'm here. I'm going to subscribe to her channel because I like watching her content. Give this video a thumbs up as long as you do both of those things for me. Until next time.